We continue to follow the breaking news. More crime in America. A deadly shootout in the Denver area last night, leaving four dead, including the suspect, leaving five dead there. A police officer injured. And in Los Angeles, new video released by police showing a man beating shoppers in a department store when police arrive. Their bullets hit a 14-year-old girl. Yeah, a complicated story here for the latest. Now we'll bring in Newsmax correspondent Sarah Williamson. She is in the newsroom with the latest on the story. Sarah. Hey, Sean. Hey, Kilmini. That body cam video tells a story of a chaotic, violent and distressive scene of a, of a deranged felon who was attacking women throughout an L.A. Burlington coat factory with a bike lock. And then you hear that mother's scream as one of those stray bullets struck and killed her daughter, who was in a dressing room. Now, California has been stricken with waves of smash and grabs this holiday season at, at its malls. But police instantly knew that something was different here. It was a madman on the prowl attacking women wherever he could. The police have said that this chaotic incident resulting in the death of an innocent child is tragic and devastating for everyone involved. An officer is on administrative leave pending the investigation. The Children's Chilean family plans a news conference today calling for transparency from the LAPD. And as for the suspect, authorities have denied a full release of Daniel Elena Lopez's criminal history, but there is, they are calling it extensive. The LA Times found that Elena Lopez has convictions for car theft, domestic battery, recklessly evading police in a vehicle, carrying a loaded gun in public and carrying a gun as a felon. Now, this, trage this tragedy is sure to spark a renewed debate among progressives in California about how to deal with the violent, soaring crime. And as you may recall, San Francisco Mayor London Bree just won a very hard-fought battle with progressives in her left city over an emergency order to refund the police. Now, caller after caller on the Board of Supervisors meeting are still wanting to defund law enforcement and many basically blaming them for the upsurge in homicide and other violent crimes in the San Francisco area. Now, in LA, officials say the full probe of the shooting could take up to a year, Sean. Yeah, it's such a sad story there. That 14 year old girl in a dress really room is. there with her mama just trying to pick out a dress, it tragically ending there. Uh, investigation continues. Sarah Williamson in the newsroom. Sarah, thank you. All right, joining us now with reaction is RNC national spokesman uh, Paris Denard. Paris, I haven't seen you in a minute. Good to see you. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you. Uh, you know, these stories have become all too prevalent, especially this time of year. Uh, we talked about the, the shooting there in LA, Denver. Uh, Philadelphia crime rates up. You've seen it obviously in Chicago really every single weekend. San Francisco smash and grab crimes and that's happening also across the nation. The big question here, Paris, with your background with the RNC, how does this impact midterms? We are a few days away from 2022 and when you do look at polling, many Americans top of mind, they want to feel safe. How will this battling crime like what we've seen play in midterms? We saw I'll tell you this. When you look at this situation that's happening, there's no doubt that it's going to have a direct impact on the 2022 midterm elections because people are sick and tired and fed up of the crime, the murder, and the violence. And it's at the it's at the leadership or the failed leadership of so many Democrat officials, not just on the federal level, but also on the local level. And so when voters go and they, they want to say, who's responsible for this? Who's making the change? We will ask voters directly, is your life better off today than it was 12 months ago? We're going to ask voters directly, who is at the leadership of your municipalities? Who's at the leadership uh, in Congress? Who's at the leadership of, of, these, of these cities that you're in? The Democrats and the majority of these cases in these major cities are the ones that are responsible and they're going to be held accountable. But the people are looking for something different. They're looking for Republicans to lead and offer what we've been saying for many years. You have to have public safety because there should be a reasonable expectation for any mother, any parent, any single mother especially, to, to allow their child to go to a shopping mall, to allow their child to go outside to play, to allow their child to go to school without them being shot, murdered. Or, it, or are mugged or beaten up. But that's the reality this holiday season for so many people. And if it, even if it's just one, it's too many. And that's the reality. We've got to do something about it. President Trump tried to do it. And even on the issue of police reform, the, the Democrats have failed on police reform. 
After George Floyd's death, they all said they were going to do something about it. And now twice, they have failed to do anything. So whether it's police reform, whether it's stopping the smash and grab, or whether it's having stopping this radical policy of defunding the police, the Democrats have failed to do anything on a federal level. They have failed to do anything on a local level to solve this problem and to provide peace in these communities and in their homes. Paris, why does it seem, and many viewers wonder this as well as they share on Twitter, social media, etc. Why does it seem that all the, the rise in crime happens in only Democrat-led cities? <laughs> well, it's because their policies. It, it, it's not, if, we, if you're supposed to follow the facts and the data and the science, the facts and data and science say this is happening in these Democrat-run cities. So then you have to ask yourself, what are the policies that are being put in place? Well, defunding of the police, allowing the rioting to happen, not having strong public safety, and, 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 and putting in policies and, and statements that are disparaging to the men and women who serve in the blue, who put on the uniform. These are not just white people. These are black people. These are people of all ethnic groups, men and women, who protect and serve. And so when you have a mentality and an embracement of uh, and when you embrace this idea that the police are bad, when you embrace this idea that the police don't need to be funded and that we need to have these riotings and these demonstrations and burning down of business, especially minority-owned businesses, it leads to this behavior that goes unchecked and communities left unsafe. So the facts are all of this crime, this violence and murder are happening in Democrat-controlled cities who try to push a policy of defunding the police with left people vulnerable, especially right now. Okay, really quickly, final question. Top billing for, for voters, obviously staying safe, crime, and then handling this pandemic. The president promised to shut down the virus. Yesterday he said, not going to be able to do this. There's no federal solution. This goes to a state level. Final thoughts on this and how that plays into midterms, and we'll close. Uh, at the end of the day, the American people are going to look at the Democrats and Joe Biden and say, have you led? Have you done anything to make things better? Whether it's the economy, whether it's education, whether it's, uh, you know, this issue of crime and obviously COVID, they have not led, they have failed, and they'll be held accountable at the ballot box with the red wave that's coming in 2022. Paris Denard joining us live here. Paris, good to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Good to see you. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.